The Association for the Study of African American Life and History, ASALA, proudly presents its 2022 Virtual Black History Month Festival. Today, we will announce the winner of the prestigious ASALA Book Prize Award. We will have words of welcome from our national president, Dr. W. Marvin Delaney, and then hear from members of the ASALA Book Prize Award Committee to discuss the award, the finalists, and then present this year's winner. Before we kick off today's program, we would like to thank our sponsors for supporting our month-long celebration. Our legacy sponsors, our heritage sponsors, our history makers sponsors, our preservation sponsors, our hero sponsors, our champion sponsors, and our media sponsors. But first, we begin with Lift Every Voice and Sing, performed by the 105 Voices of History, arranged by Roland M. Carter.
Hello, I am Marvin Delaney, National President of ASALA, the Association for the Study of African American Life and History. When ASALA was founded in 1915, its founder, Dr. Carter G. Woodson, wanted the organization to engage in what he called the scientific study of the Negro. ASALA was founded in a period of American history in which the very humanity of African Americans was being challenged and questioned by historians, sociologists, and even the scientific community. Scholars and academics believed in the innate inferiority of African Americans and doubted that they could ever become a part of American society. Indeed, some of them believed that if African Americans were integrated into American society, their inferiority and their immorality would destroy American society. Dr. Woodson and the association challenged the lies and the misrepresentation of African-American history and culture. They did it by doing research, by publishing the results of their research, and by showing that African-Americans had contributed as much as any other Americans to the history and development of the United States. With this year's book award, Osala continues the tradition started by Dr. Woodson over 100 years ago of recognizing research and scholarship that illuminates the history and contributions of African Americans. The Association for the Study of African American Life and History awards an annual prize to recognize an outstanding book in the field of African American history and culture. Books must engage archives to be eligible for consideration. However, the Book Prize Committee invites submissions from across the disciplinary and interdisciplinary boundaries. As national president of ASALA, I commend the finalists for this year's ASALA Book Prize. Greetings, ASALA family and friends. My name is LaShawn Harris, and I teach at Michigan State University. I'm proud to serve on the 2021-2022 ASALA Book Prize Committee. The Asala Book Prize annually recognizes an outstanding book in the field of African American history and culture. The Asala Book Prize Committee is interested in projects that model rigorous approaches to the field, books that have clear implications on how we teach and represent African American history, books that have the capacity to introduce broader topics to a broader audience about African-American history, and books that use sharp analysis of African-American history to speak boldly to our contemporary moment. And for more information about the Asala Book Prize, please go to asala.org. This year, we had eight outstanding finalists. They include Erica Edwards, The Other Side of Terra, Black Women and the Culture of U.S. Empire, published by New York University Press, V.P. Franklin, The Young Crusaders, The Untold Story of the Children and Teenagers Who Galvanized the Civil Rights Movement, published by Beacon Press, Jarvis Givens, Fugitive Pedagogy, Carter G. Woodson, and the Art of Black Teaching, published by Harvard University Press, Elizabeth Hinton, America on Fire, The Untold Story of Police Violence and the Black Rebellion Since the 1960s, published by Live Right, Dustin Jenkins, the Bonds of Inequality, Debt, and the Making of the American City, published by the University of Chicago Press. Tamika Nunley, At the Threshold of Liberty, Women, Slavery, and Shifting Identities in Washington, DC, published by the University of North Carolina Press. K. Stephen Price, The Ballad of Robert Charles, Searching for the New Orleans Riot of 1900, published by the University of North Carolina Press. And Keith Waylu, Pushing Cool, Big Tobacco, Racial Marketing, and the Untold Story of the Menthol Cigarette, published by the University of Chicago Press. Congratulations to the 2022 Asala Book Prize finalists. I'm pleased to announce that the 2022 Asala Book Prize winner is Dr. Jarvis Givens, Assistant Professor of Education at Harvard University and author of Fugitive Pedagogy, Carter G. Woodson and the Art of Black Teaching, published by Harvard University Press. Congratulations, Dr. Givens. We will now have remarks from Asala Book Prize jurors. Hello, my name is Dr. Kelly Carter Jackson, and I'm honored to once again be a part of the Asala Book Prize Committee, along with my esteemed colleagues, Dr. Gerald Horn, 
Dr. Eula Taylor, Dr. Christopher Tennyson, and Dr. Elizabeth Todd Breland. Just like last year, we received dozens of titles. We consider it both a privilege and a pleasure to be able to dive into the latest scholarship being produced in African American history and culture. Together, the Asala Book Prize Committee looked for several key factors in both determining a shortlist and a winner. We focused on projects that modeled rigorous and imaginative approaches to the field, books that were beautifully written, books that we uh, books that have clear implications for how we teach and represent aspects of African American history and culture. We chose books our students would love. We love a book we can put on a syllabus. We read books that have the capacity to introduce important aspects of Black experiences to broad public audiences and books that use sharp analysis to speak boldly to a contemporary moment. We also highly valid, val valued, we also highly valued books that engage in both new and or previously underutilized archives. We believe the Asala Book Prize winner uses particular experiences in African American history and culture to illuminate universal aspects of the human experience. And with that, I will pass to my colleague, Dr. Todd Breland, who will announce this year's winner. Thank you so much. It is my distinct honor to announce this year's Asala Book Prize winner. Dr. Jarvis Gibbons and his book, Fugitive Pedagogy, Carter G. Woodson and the Art of Black Teaching. This is a phenomenal book. And while certainly to those of us in Asala, Carter G. Woodson is a familiar person, the book doesn't just talk about Carter G. Woodson alone, but also the way in which he institutionalized black historical knowledge as the founder of the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History, Givens gives details and tells a broader story about Woodson's life, his historical context, and the influences um, for, uh, that influenced himself and others, while also interrogating his intellectual work, his contributions to criticism, his textbooks, and his organizations. This is a book about Carter G. Woodson, and thus also about Asala, but about so much more. It is about what Givens describes as the art of Black teaching. In addition to new insights about Woodson's life, work, and ideas, Givens argues that it was actually the Black teachers, the Black school teachers in Woodson's organization who developed the Black humanities curriculum and fugitive pedagogical practices of performance and embodied learning that enshrined Negro History Week as a staple in Black schools and also fueled Black teacher organizations and Black teacher activism. This book engages theory, it explores and expands the archive of Black education, of Black teachers, and of African-American intellectual history. But Givens, I should say, introduces new concepts. He establishes a new grammar, fugitive pedagogy, embodied learning, Black teachers as scholars of practice. Givens argues that Black educators served as role models and embraced a pedagogy of racial pride and high expectations for Black students preparing students to be politically astute and engaged citizens in a broader society that did not fully acknowledge their humanity. Givens reinforces also the importance of both Black study and Black studies, and importantly, Black teachers. Black teachers as schoolhouse activists, as intellectuals, and as significant figures in Black communities. Today, it feels like such an important moment to see to acknowledge and to pour into Black teachers. Givens draws on Mary McLeod Bethune's call for translation, the idea that researchers, scholars, theorists have to be able to translate their work to be used in the classroom, to be a part of popular and community-based education. And Givens' work does that. This text and his public intellectual work engage Black educators in this work and continue to push forward in further directions of how that work can continue. And I think importantly, Givens also calls on higher education and particularly Black studies to do more to support and collaborate with Black teachers as colleagues, as fellow intellectuals, and again, as scholars of practice. This is such a phenomenal book and I couldn't be more proud um, to be putting it forth as 
the will of the committee here um, as the Asala Book Prize winner for the year. Congratulations, Jarvis, and really congratulations to the organization and to all of us who get to engage with this work and all of the other shortlist uh, nominees as well. Um, and the, just the full range of texts we received are amazing. Like, Black history and culture is the future, y'all. And we are moving things forward and there's just so much incredible work out there. So congratulations to Jarvis and congratulations to everyone. Yay, the future is Black. Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you for honoring my work in this way and for seeing the beauty in the traditions of these teachers I write about. History is always a phenomenon of the here and now. Whether we are conscious of it or not, it is to history that we owe our frames of reference, our identities and our aspirations in the words of James Baldwin. As we witness more and more efforts to restrict how we teach about race and the history of racial inequality in our schools, it has become strikingly clear that the fugitive traditions of black teachers are relevant for our time. It has been my great honor to add their voices to these critically important conversations. Congratulations again, Dr. Jarvis Givens. And now we will hear from the Winston-Salem State University Choir performing My God is a Rock.
Thank you for joining us for our 2022 Asala Book Prize Award program. Please be sure to mark your calendars for our upcoming events. On February 19th, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern, Asala will present a presidential conversation, Black Health and Wellness in the Eye of the Storm, live. The newly installed Asala National President, Dr. W. Marvin Delaney, presidents of Black professional health organizations and a medical school, will have a conversation about a wide range of topics that directly impact the overall health and wellness of African American people from education, equity, inclusion, medical ethics, and much more. Another can't miss event. On February 23rd, from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern, Asala presents a special program, What You Don't Know About the Legacies of Slavery, Health, and Wellness, presented by the National Park Service Network to Freedom, live. This conversation will review social practices, beliefs, and psychological dispositions that are distinct continuities from slavery. On February 27th, from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Eastern, Asala presents part two of its marquee event, Black Bodies, From Exploitation to Excellence, African American Contributions to Medical Discovery and Public Health, where we will hear a live discussion among former NFL players and medical personnel on contemporary issues addressing health and wellness among black athletes, as well as the issues of race norming, mental health, and other relevant topics addressing this same issue. The festival will again feature music from the vast landscape of black music performed by selected historically black colleges and universities, HBCUs, including performances of Lift Every Voice and Sing. And finally, we will conclude this year's Black History Month virtual celebration with our closing program on February 28th from 6.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern. This year's theme, Black Health and Wellness, is vitally important to the black community especially in light of the current global pandemic. We want to encourage you all to participate and support Asala's programs and commit to spreading the word. For more information, you can go to our website, www.asalh.org, and be sure to follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook, and our Twitter feeds. We look forward to having you join us for our 2022 virtual Black History Month Festival, so please, be sure to register today and be a part of History in the Making by showing your support for Asala, the founders of Black History Month.